A beat on the beat. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, hold on. Today I am actually doing a Q&A mukbang. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna get right into it because, mm-mm, I, I can't even open this. So, I actually have questions I asked on Instagram. However, um, I'm gonna get right into this. Let's, some disclaimers, I'm gonna tear this food up, so let's not judge. Um, number two, I look a mess, and that's because, like, I could've got cute, but I didn't really feel like it. Cause I'm hungry. It is 6.04 and I have not eaten anything today. Today I have, give me a second cause man. Today I have Crab Kings. I haven't even looked at it yet. Which is probably, that's kind of a problem. Oh my god. Thumbnail. So, today I have Crab Kings. Yummy. Do I have gloves? Oh my god. I'm about to redo my mukbang with this. But, so yeah, I have questions that I'm going to be asking, or that I was asked, I guess, on Instagram. And I'm going to be answering. That's what I meant to say. I'm going to be answering um today i'm eating crab kings like i said i have two crab clusters shrimp corn potatoes and an egg and like i said i haven't eaten so let me redo my mukbang i mean let me redo my um what's my call thumbnail i should be good enough so i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna start eating because Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. God, I pray, excuse me. God, I pray that you bless this food and bless the hands that prepared this food. God, th please don't let there be no Rona on it. I don't have time for it, God. I love you so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let me just pull up these questions and I'm gonna literally, literally dive in because baby, when I say I'm hungry, beyond hungry. They gave me gloves. So I'm gonna snap my gloves on. There we go. Got it. Okay. So, first question. We're going to start. I'm not. I'm going to just skip around. How old are you? Mm. I am 21 years old. I turned 21 on May 6th. Shout out to all the tourists in the world. Probably the best time. Mm-mm. My phone just went off in my hand. How am I supposed to do this? Six. Okay, next question. Hold on, I can't do this right now. I have to eat for a second, cause y'all ever be watching mukbangs of people eating crab and they don't be knowing how to crack the crab? Like that, that gets under my skin. I don't know why. Cause like, why you know like, why are you not getting all that meat out? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, it probably won't focus. Maybe it will. We got a shrimp. Oops. Mm, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Next question was. How many kids do you want? Mm. I said like three, three to four, cause I have four, three siblings. <clears throat> and I mean, it's like, I want a big family. Like we don't have a lot of like aunties and uncles and stuff and like cousins. And, like, I be jealous of people that have that stuff. Like when I watch like, um, like people snaps on the holidays, so I want my kids to be able to have 
cousins and stuff. So all of me and my siblings need to have like three to four. <laughs> yeah. Um, three to four, but no time soon because I'm still young, wild, and free, period. Mm. Okay. It says <clears throat> relationship status. I'm single. I mean, I get. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it, but I'm single. Definitely not ready to mingle. I feel like. Mm mm. Mm mm. I feel like the men in this generation are built a little different, if I'm being honest. I feel like um, they're really a different breed. Like, I don't know what's in the water, but people really be tripping. And not just me, really. I mean, like, I'm talking about, like, my homegirls, like, the stuff they be telling me. Because me and my homegirls just feel like... You know what I'm saying, but <laughs> yeah, I'm single, not ready to mingle. Stay back. I'm. <sighs> we might just have to leave this glove off. I'll be honest. Next question: Drums or flats? <laughs> Definitely flats. I don't know why people like drums. I mean, I'll eat a drum, you know what I'm saying? But like, flats is definitely where it's at. Definitely. I love just the, you know what I'm saying? Did you play any sports in high school? I love answering these kind of questions. So, yeah, I loved high school. I loved high school. I feel a little inappropriate by it. like never mind. Mm. Mm. Let me say something. So I'm an SCO. This is Crab Kings on West Florida if y'all from St. Louis. What sports did I play in high school? So all four years of high school, I was a cheerleader. I loved high school and I loved cheering. Um, cheering was, this is gonna piss me off because y'all see how this is hanging? Anyways, um, I loved high school. I love cheering. I love being at the games. Mm, I know you are. Yeah, so I was a cheerleader for four years. What am I trying to say? I ran track for three years, so sophomore, junior, senior. I was very active in high school. Um, I cheered for football, basketball, soccer, wrestling. You name it, I cheered for it. So track, I ran 300 hurdles. That was like my main um, event, but also ran um, like four by two, four by four, open four, open two, stuff like that. Okay. Tips on gaining confidence. Okay, right, so <clears throat> let's just get into it. I am not the most confident person. I think the way I display myself on like maybe like socials and stuff like that, I might come off as confident. Um, I can definitely say though, like I used to be less, way less confident than I am now. Mm. I can't really tell if this corn busting, you know? Mm, pretty good, but I said tips on gaining confidence. Something that's very important that honestly I probably learned recently. You have to know your self worth. We don't know your self worth. You can't really be confident. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I can say there's been times I'm, I'm trying to take this off without touching it. I can say there's been times in my life where I didn't really know my self worth, you know, and I can say I wasn't the most confident back then. Like it's like. Like, you don't have to be, like, conceited, like, oh, I know I'm the bad. You know what I'm saying? But confidence is important, and I feel like it's hard when you're in a position where it's, like, hard to know your self-worth. Ladies, you know what I mean? Guys, too, really. Like, say, like, you're in a relationship, and, like, this person's doing dirty or whatever. And it's, like, it's hard to be confident in those situations and know, like, I got myself and I am a bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need this person. Like, you know, I, I don't really know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I have trouble doing that. So, how to gain confidence? Let's get back. See, I told you I get sidetracked. I think you just have to, like I said, know your self worth. Um, you know, like, say, like, affirmations like, I am beautiful. Like, I am strong. Um, I will get through this like you know what I'm saying like even though getting through something don't have nothing to do with confidence but then again it does so know your self-worth say your affirmations um I don't know it's kind of hard because I'm still working on my confidence so we can work on that together sis because I think it takes a while though and it comes with age to be confident and really know who you are and know your self worth. It also definitely takes experiences and like going through different situations and going through different trials and tribulations in your life because certain stuff will wake you up and make you realize like I gotta boss up. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I am that not to be cocky like I said, but sometimes you have to have mentalities like that. Next question, because I really... Okay, let me say something. Sometimes I just talk. Y'all are going to get to know me as I continue to make videos, but sometimes I just talk, and sometimes it'll make, like I said, it'll make sense in my head, and then when I start talking, it's like, I don't even really know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay. Somebody asked how tall I was. Um, I'm like five, six and a half, five, seven. You wanna know who my learn though? Something I learned though. A lot of industry people are so little. Like, um, let me think of some people. Like, to, um, uh, what's his name? Tory Lanes. He's five three. That means that he's probably like right here to me, y'all. Like. The baby, little baby, like they're all little, like little baby. I guess it makes sense, but you see people on camera and stuff, and you think they're so much bigger than they are. Like I probably on camera look like six seven, but I'm not. So, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm five six and a half, five seven. What do you want to do in life, God? In a perfect world. I would like to be an influencer um, and like a model. Um, modeling is really my number one. I would love to walk all over um, Paris, um, Milan, rocking like Givenchy and um, Balmain and all the like all the time gucci you know what i'm saying like let me walk in some calvin klein let me walk in some victoria's secret and the thing is i know i can do it i know i can but i just have i'm at the stage in my life where i'm figuring things out um but yeah in a perfect world i would be an influencer and a model and kind of be my own boss like i've thought about um creating like a perfume line i'll get more into that as time passes but um yeah however plan b right now i'm in school for i'm i'm getting full and i think it's because i haven't eaten all day but i still have a whole nother cluster y'all and i have a lot of shrimp left <laughs> but um 
right now I'm actually in school for um, health sciences so I'm a health science major um, I went in school pre-med biology pre-med but that changed obviously and so now I'm health sciences and with my health science degree I want to um, my school has a physician's assistant program two years so after I graduate with my bachelor's I would go into that program for two years and then I believe it's like residency and then physician's assistant I was kind of sad I'm sorry and then like my physician's assistant um, certification or license or degree or whatever but I'm not gonna lie I hate school I hate to say it and I would love to like like I said I don't even know if I said this part but do YouTube like full-time um, be an influencer like model all that so my god y'all my camera about that I'm gonna raise up I'm still in school you know doing what I gotta do so mm -mm. corn be really in my teeth but yeah I'm still in school and I have a plan B okay so um my camera just said um I ain't gonna fake it I don't know what I was talking about <laughs> let me go look at my questions maybe I'll figure I can figure it out oh what we were talking about however now they're cutting the grass like I do want to say like backtrack on um like confidence and stuff I feel like just know that God made you how you are do not let society tell you how you are you're supposed to look how you're supposed to dress what you're supposed to buy and what you're supposed to do because at the end of the day you do you and you do what you want to do for you period nobody else none of that and it take it does take a second to learn things like that like i said it takes going through life experiences and things like that but um you are you and if you're not then who's gonna be you know i'm done eating um I have food left, but I kind of ate while my camera died because it was going to get cold, so. But, um, yeah, with that being said, this is probably the end of the video. I'm not eating anymore, and, um, I really don't have any more. I do have questions to answer, but I'll probably save some of those because some of them are, like, in-depth, and I'm going to be here for a while. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment. Tell me what y'all want to see. With that being said, everybody, I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, see you guys next time. Um, bye. I'm just kidding. Bye.
What's up guys, it's a beat the producer. Today I'm back with another beat breakdown. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I recreated Wanna Know. It's a song by Dave. He's a rapper from the UK and recently Drake did a remix to this track right here. And me personally, I like the track a lot. Drake dropped this on OVO Sound Radio. It's pretty wavy, hard hitting beat. And a lot of people were requesting me to remake this beat, so here it is. I'm gonna show you guys how I recreated it. I'll just show you guys the FLP. Um, I'm not gonna be putting the FLP out for like for download though, cause you know I gotta keep this shit to myself. <laughs> but I know I'm showing it to you guys anyways. But I feel like too many people, too many guys steal and shit. So I'm just keep this shit to myself. Anyways, with that being said, I'm still show you guys how I did it. And here's the chorus. Part. Like to be honest, I feel I didn't get 100% accurate with this. I'll let you guys be the judge, but I feel I could have done it better, especially this part right here. Of course. Like, I couldn't get the right little arp and the strings right. I couldn't get it 100% right. I hope you guys could forgive me for- Yeah, I hope you guys could forgive me for that. It is a remake after all, so... Yeah, I did this 100% all by myself. No samples on this one. Some of them I do sample, this one I didn't. But, I'll show you guys how I did this. So, I got- So, I got this, these chords. I used the Omnisphere. I used a rack kick, view snare some triangles, some open hi-hats, reverse hi-hats, regular hi-hats, and the Picasso either way. So I'll show you guys each pattern individually. Here's my chords. So I got two, I got three Omnisphere patches. Well, these two are the same patch. This is Mellow Organ Rose. It's also the same one. I think for this one, all I did was, though the difference between these two, so this one is like a,